Naruto, God Level System Author, Blue Water God Chapter 231 Command In the evening, the crimson clouds dyed half of the sky red, and the sun that was about to set was not so dazzling. The fiery clouds in the sky are beautiful, but Hong Yui and the others are not in a mood to enjoy the beautiful scenery. They lie on the grass with their eyes closed. Now they just want to have a good rest. The sun is about to set. Do you want to lie here all night? Rixiangchen strolled over. No Harurin opened her eyes and sat up, looked at Rixiangchen resentfully, and then lay down on the grass again. I don't even want to move a finger now. No Harulin said weakly, lying on the ground. It's too cruel, it won't take care of us at all, don't you know we are girls? Yui Hong complained. It is precisely because you are girls that you have to work harder. Who makes girls naturally weaker? Rixiangchen sat down and said. Anyway. We don't want to move now, Hongda said drowsily. Can't hold it now? You must know that today is just the beginning, and you will have to do this kind of training every day in the future. Rixianchen gave them a shocking news. What did you say? Hongda sat up suddenly, then lay down weakly. You still let me die. Don't you want to become a female ninja famous in the ninja world? How can you succeed without hard work? I'm an illusion ninja. I just want to learn illusion. You have been training our physical skills. What's the use of this? Yui Hong couldn't help but said. She just wanted to become a phantom ninja. Relatively speaking, Hong Yui actually didn't look down on Taijutsu ninjas, thinking that they were a bunch of idiots full of muscles. You have an immortal human body. If you don't practice body arts, wouldn't it be a waste of such a powerful physique? Only the almighty ninja has no weaknesses, Rixianchen said softly. What is a fairy body? Moyuxian asked suspiciously. The immortal human body is a kind of blood continuum. You don't need to know that much. What you need to do is to concentrate on cultivation. Rixianchen tapped Moyuxian's head lightly. Oh, Moyuxian covered the place where she was knocked, and nodded gloomily. Does she have a bloodline limit? Why doesn't she know it herself? After resting for half an hour, Rin Nohara and the others stood up, feeling that most of the fatigue on their bodies had disappeared. I recovered so quickly, I thought I was going to lie here all night. Hongda clenched his fists, feeling extraordinarily powerful. This is one of the abilities of the immortal human body, which can make you recover quickly, and there are other more abilities, you will know later. Rixianchen said. The girls nodded and went home. Rixianchen looked at the moon that had just emerged, stood still for a while and then teleported into a space and disappeared into Konoa. Rixiangchen, who had left Konoa, appeared in a remote town. Not long after standing outside the town, two silhouettes came like ghosts. Sir, two figures came to Rixiangchen and hurriedly saluted respectfully. The two figures were Otsutsuki Yumura and Yuakaiha Kingching. Yeah, Rixiangchen nodded lightly, then took out a pair of samsara eyes. I'll leave these eyes to you, Otsutsuki Yumura. Haixiangchen said in a flat tone. These reincarnation eyes are the eyes of the parallel world Yuakai Hakang, and they are the eyes that have evolved with the help of the six path immortals. Otsatsuki Yumura hurried over, dug out his white eyes, and put the reincarnation eyes on them. The purple reincarnation eye exudes a strange light. As for why the eye of Samsara was given to Otsatsuki Yumura instead of Yuakai Huaching, it was because Yuakai Huaching's strength was too weak to fully exert the strength of Samsara. It seems a bit awkward to call him like this. Hayuga Chen felt very awkward especially Otsatsuki Hamura, this guy has been killed by Haixianchen twice, and it would be awkward to call him Otsatsuki Hamura again. In the future, you will change your surname to Hayuga Yumura. Hayuga Chen pointed to Otsatsuki Yumura and said, then looked at Yuakai Huaching, you can also change it to Hayuga Huaching. Now Yuakai Hakingching no longer has to write round eyes, but has a pair of white eyes created by Hinata Yumura. And there is no problem in changing his surname to Hinata. Hayuga Yumura and Hayuga Kingching nodded. The name was just a code name, and Hayuga Chen asked them to change it to any name. Change your appearance to Rixian Chen ordered. Hayuga Hamamura nodded, and then changed his appearance, which was not difficult for him. And then Hayuga Hamamura also helped Hinata King Ching change his appearance. Can your reincarnation eye be completely controlled and hidden? Rixian Chen asked. Yes, Hinata Hamamura's reincarnation eyes disappeared, turning into the eyes of ordinary people. Yeah, Rixian Chen nodded, and then ordered, you go to the land of rain and monitor an organization called Xiao and later you will find an opportunity to enter the Xiao organization. The two nodded quickly. Rixianchen didn't even look at them, and used Space Ninjutsu to leave. After Hayuga Tatsu left, Hayuga Hamura and Hayuga Kingching breathed a sigh of relief. In front of the adults, I don't dare to speak loudly at all. Hayuga Kingching said, Don't talk nonsense, go to the country of rain immediately. Hinata Yumura interrupted Hayuga Kingching, and then flew to the country of rain. After studying in the human world, now they are actually no different from humans possessing all the emotions of human beings, and it is completely impossible to see that they are controlled by smart chips. Coming to the system space, Rixianchen took out a pair of tensigons and found Xzxx. I want to replace this pair of tensizen with a potion that allows people to obtain tensizen. I wonder if it is possible? Yes, 
but it requires a handling fee of 1 million exchange points. It's really dark. Rixianchen shook his head helplessly. Not only did he have no exchange points, he also owed the system exchange points. To exchange Tensizen in the system, you need 2 million exchange points. With this Tensizen, you can save half of it. It's already very profitable. Okay. Xj opened the system mall and showed him the price of Tensizen. I am a complete Tensizen, and I am from Otsutsugi Hamura. Haixiangchen retorted. The key is that other people will be repelled when they put it on, and the Tensigen potion is for people to open their own Tensizen. Xj said. Is there any way to earn exchange points? Rixiangchen asked. All I know is that recycling can earn exchange points. Xj said helplessly. Although she is a system elf, she does not fully understand the system. Since that's the case, let's forget it first. Rixiangchen shook his head then put his tensizen away, and let's talk about it later when the exchange points are enough. Dad after Lalula's saw Rixi Anchen, she ran over happily, hugged Rixi Anchen's legs and used the coquettish daffa. When Rixi Anchen saw Lalulasi, his depressed mood immediately improved, and he squatted down intimately and hugged Lalulasi. Dot. Chapter 232 is my with a misunderstanding. When it was just dawn, no Harin rubbed her eyes and got up from the bed. Alas, today I'm going to do that devilish training again. No Harin sighed. After washing up and eating breakfast, No Harin made another oversized bento, then put the bento in the insulation box, said goodbye to her parents, and No Harin went out. As soon as No Harin left, Yokai Huobito found her on the back. After asking No Harin's parents, Yokai Huobito, who learned that No Harin went out, was very depressed. Just when he was looking for a place to eat breakfast, Yuakai Huobito suddenly saw his classmate Yuaka. What is she doing? Yuakai Huobito looked at his strong suit, with a hint of heroic red Yui on his tender face, and his eyes couldn't help being stunned. Even if Yuakai Huobito's favorite person is Rin Nohara, he cannot deny that Hong Yui is very beautiful at this time. Red Yui, Yuakai Huobito shouted loudly, huh? Hearing someone calling him, Hong Yui turned around and looked over, and found that it was Yuakai Huobito, the tail of the crane in the class, and Hong Yui frowned. For the ignorant Yuakai Huobito in the class, Hong Yui obviously didn't have a good impression, and even looked down on him a little. It's not that Hong Yui wants to look down on Yuakai Huobito, but Yuakai Huobito's performance in the class is indeed not very good. In fact, Yuakai Huobito's strength is still good, but his theoretical knowledge is very poor, so he is the tail of the crane in the class. In terms of strength, Yuakai Huobito is definitely not the tail of the crane, and of course it will not be in the forefront, that is, the middle and lower reaches. What's the matter with you calling me? Although he didn't want to see Yuakai Huobito in his heart, Hong Yui didn't show it. The dot 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 that I want to ask? Do you know where Rin went? Yuakai Huobito asked. Yuakai Huobito knew that the girls in the class liked to play together, so Hong Yui might know where Rin went. Kuren Yui frowned and didn't hide it. Anyway, there was nothing to hide. Rin is receiving special training from the teacher. If I have nothing to do, I'll leave first. After Kane Yui finished speaking, she turned and left. She was not interested in talking to Yuakai Huobito. Teacher? Yuakai Huobito was stunned then thought of the little white-faced boss in the ninja shop. Damn little white face, why does Lin follow him to practice? No, I'm going to have a look. Yuakai Huobito said through gritted teeth. He has a deep prejudice against Rixie Anchen in his heart, and subconsciously thinks that Rixie Anchen has bad intentions and has any intentions towards Lin, especially since this guy is a low Ken, and it is very dangerous for Lin to be with him. But this time Yuakai Huobito wronged Rixie Anchen. He has absolutely no other thoughts about no Harurin. At least not now. Since Lin went to practice with Xiabelian, then Yuri Hong should be too, and she might be able to find Lin. At this time, Yuakai Huobito's IQ, which is usually not enough, suddenly went online. Seeing Yuaka Kung, who was about to go far, Yuakai Huobito followed carefully. He didn't dare to follow too closely, but just followed from a distance. And Yui Hong didn't have much vigilance in Konoa, so she didn't find Yuakai Huobito who was far behind her. After Yuakai Huobito left behind Hong Yui, an ape came out with a gloomy face. This ape is Sarutobia's Mo who came to look for Yuka Red. Just now, he saw Yuka and Yuakai Huobito talking from a distance, and he was in a bad mood. Although far away, Sarutobia's Mo didn't hear anything, but in Sarutobia's Mo's view, Yuakai Huobito just wanted toads to eat swan meat. At this moment, Sarutobia's Mo directly listed Yuakai Huobito as rival in love. Just when Sarutobia's Mo wanted to rush out, teach Yuakai Huobito a lesson, and show his strength in front of Yuka by the way, Hong Yui left suddenly. And then he saw Yuakai Huobito sneaking and sneaking up, which made Sarutobia's more furious. In his eyes, Yuakai Huobito, the tail of the glass crane, just wanted to conspire against Yuka. Sarutobia's more's heart was burning with anger. He must make Yuakai Huobito look good today. The misunderstanding was born like this, and everything was just such a coincidence. Sarutobia's more followed aggressively, and today he had to let the tail of the crane know that Yuka was not something that a toad like him could spy on. So Sarutobia's more was like an angry gorilla, not hiding. 
just followed behind Yuaka Hibito. Because Yuaka Hibito was anxious to keep up with Yuaka, he didn't pay attention to the red-eyed ape behind him. However, after following for a while, Yuaka Hibito finally lost it, because Yuaka's speed was so fast that he couldn't keep up with Zero at all. Damn, how can you run so fast? Yuaka Hibito depressed and punched the tree. There was nothing wrong with the tree, Yuaka Hibito screamed with pain. It should be in this direction, there is nothing wrong. I don't believe I can't find it. Yuakai Huobito said firmly. Let him go back at this time, Yuakai Huobito will definitely not go back, and he will not be reconciled if he doesn't see Lin. So I can only try hard to find it. As for whether it can be found, this Yuakai Huobito himself does not know. Yuakai Huobito was depressed, and Sarutobiasma, who was following behind him, was even more depressed. Seeing Yuakai Huobito spinning around like a headless fly, he wanted to go out and beat him. But Sarutobiasma held back. He wanted to teach Yuakai Huobito a hard lesson in front of Yuaka so as to relieve the bad anger in his heart. Yuakai Huobito didn't know that because he said a few words to Yui Hong, he was a disaster, and he was even used as a stepping stone to complete the act of coercion. Dot. I'm so sleepy. Hongda couldn't help yawning. This teacher, let us come so early, but I haven't come yet. It's really hateful. Hongda looked angry. Hongdu, how can you say that, teacher Chen? No Haruin frowned. That's right, isn't it just a little late? How can you scold the teacher behind your back? Moyuxian was also very dissatisfied. Rixianchen was not only her 2.2 teacher, but also her most admired idol. You two don't look at the teacher because he is handsome, and then look at him? Hongdu looked at the two of them suspiciously. Hongdu, what nonsense are you talking about? No Harin's cheeks were flushed, and her head was steaming. Yuzu Kixian was also very shy, her face flushed brightly, not much different from No Harin. What nonsense, although he is a bit of a jerk, he is really handsome. I still want to have a splendid teacher-student relationship with him, Hongdu said without shyness. Red Bin. This time, even Yui Hong couldn't help blushing, and gave a coquettish shout to Red Bin. Cut. I think you all have special thoughts about him, so why are you pretending to be arrogant? Hongdu said disdainfully. The face of the three girls turned even redder, as if they had been told. Chapter 233 The two completely misunderstood. Two hours later, Rixianchen was late. Teacher, why are you late? Hong Yui looked at Rixianchen with resentful eyes. Rixianchen scalp numb from this gaze, isn't it because he was late a while? As for looking at him with such eyes? Cough cough, what are you looking at? Preparing for today's practice, can you all be idle if I don't come? Rixianchen reprimanded. The four little lil I really want to scold people, why are you late for being late? They are now aggrieved and want to cry. Being stared at by four grievances and resentment, even the shameless Rixianchen couldn't bear it. Didn't you say that you want to teach us some powerful ninjutsu? Don't say anything. I doubt your character now, teacher, said Hong Yui. Red Bin, No Haruin, and Yuzuki Yui and looked at Rixianchen with great anticipation. It's okay to teach you powerful ninjutsu, but it's not now. Even if you teach it now, you won't be able to use it, so let's lay the foundation first. The girls were immediately disappointed, looking at Xianchen's eyes on the 15th, as if they were looking at a big liar. Rixianchen shook his head. Now little devils like to learn powerful ninjutsu, and they don't even see if they are capable of using them. He walked over and gave each of them a burst of chestnuts, and said with a blow, Don't be too ambitious, with your strength, you also want to learn powerful ninjutsu, go and learn it in your dreams. A few women came to hold their heads and squatted in defense, their big tearful eyes glared at Rixianchen, but Rixianchen really hurt them just now. Bullying the little girl is really bad character. Hongda stood up and said with a small fist. Really? Thank you for the compliment. I'm just that bad. If you have the ability, come and beat me. Rixianchen screamed a little girlishly with a beating expression on his face. Next, Rixianchen didn't talk nonsense, and continued to let them start the same practice as yesterday. Dot. After wandering around for several hours, Yuakai Huobito finally paid off his hard work and found the training ground where Hixianchen taught Yuakai and the others. Looking at his sweetheart standing in the distance, sweating profusely and crumbling, and then looking at Hayuga Tatsu sitting in a chair leisurely, Yuikai has rustic teeth tickled. From Abito's point of view, Haixianchen was bullying no Haruin, which made Yuikai Hubito angry. Just as Yuikai Hubito was about to rush out to seek justice for no Haruin, he suddenly felt a sense of crisis. Then Yuikai Hubito seemed to have an explosion of potential, and immediately lowered his head, avoiding the blow that hit the back of his head. The fist hit the tree next to him, leaving a deep fist mark on the tree. Yuakai Huobito was sweating coldly on his forehead, and he was terrified. If it hit him in the back of the head, he could go to the Pure Land to find the Six Path Immortals for tea now. After the fear was over, Yuakai Huobito burst into an unprecedented anger in his heart, and he wanted to see who wanted to kill him. After Yuakai Huobito turned his head and looked at Sarutobiasma with red eyes, he was slightly taken aback, and then he asked angrily, Asma, why did you sneak up on me? If it wasn't for me to hide quickly, is now dead. Sarutobiasma's eyes were red, and he stared at Yuakai Huobito angrily. Walking around behind Yuakai Huobito, 
Sarutobius Man became more and more angry and impatient, and finally he couldn't help the impulse in his heart and shot Yuakai Huabato. And the first shot is a dead hand. At that time, Sarutobius Man was also impulsive and lost his mind, without thinking. He hit the vital part of Yuakai Huabato. Originally, he almost killed Yuakai Huabato because of his impulsiveness, and as Miss Sarutobi was a little scared. But Yuakai Huabato's questioning ignited Sarutobius Man's anger again. The whole class knew that he, as Miss Sarutobi, had a crush on Yuaka, but this guy dared to peep at Yuaka, which was his bottom line. I have to say that the children of Naruto world are precocious, and in the past life of Rixi Angchen, children over six years old are still playing in the mud. In Hokage, jealousy has already begun, and it has risen to the level of killing the rival in love. You bastard, you dare to peep at the person I like, who gave you the courage. Sarutobiasma's face was gloomy, and the killing intent in his heart couldn't help but emerge. The other party is just the tail of the crane and he is the son of Hokage. Even if Yuakai Huabuto is a member of the Yuakai family, Sarutobias Ma dared to kill him. Anyway, he is just a person who is not valued by the Yuakai family. Sarutobias Ma's face was gloomy, and Yuakai Huabuto's face was even darker. This guy who looked like an undeveloped orangutan actually fell in love with Rin, and Yuakai Huabuto's fist clenched tightly. He would never let the lovely and kind Lin fall into the hands of this great ape. It must be said that these two people were completely misunderstood. If you change someone, you might be able to react. But Yuakai Huabuto who is not black and is a fool. Almost everyone in their entire class, except Yuakai Huabuto, knew that Sarutobiasma liked Yuaka, not no Harurin. But only Abitu, an idiot with a low double quotient, had no idea at all. And Sarutobiasma is now a baboon in heat. In a state of anger, his IQ, which was originally not high, dropped to a negative value in an instant, completely forgetting that Yuakai Huabuto usually revolves around no Harurin. So the two things that lost their minds were completely reduced to mad beasts. 870, you bastard, who gave you the courage to fight with me, and give me death. Sarubiasma, who was irritated and overwhelmed his senses, pulled out Kanai and rushed towards Yukai Huabuto. Yukai Huabuto looked at Sarutobiasma who was rushing over, and wanted to take out the ninja gear, but found that he didn't bring it at all. At this time, Sarutobiasma had come to Yukai Huabuto's side, and Kanai stabbed Yukai Huabuto in the neck. A six-year-old kid, can you expect him to remain sane when he is angry? There is absolutely no scruples once you start. Yuakai Huabuto is not as bad as the tail of the crane. After discovering that he did not have a ninja gear, he hurriedly lay back and rolled on the ground to stand up. Although he looked very embarrassed, he managed to escape the blow. Yuakai Huabuto, who got up, looked at the clothes that were cut open, and his expression became completely cold. Although the usual Yuakai Huabuto is a funny guy, it doesn't mean he won't get angry if he could restrain his anger before. But as Miss Arutobi's deadly attack had completely angered Abito, seeing Yuakai Huabito dodging his own attack and still looking at him coldly, Kanai in Sarutobiasma's hands mercilessly shot towards Yuakai Huabito. This time, Yuakai Huabito didn't have such good luck. He only had time to avoid the key point, but his arm was cut deeply by the Kanai flying out of his Masaru by Chapter 234 Yunakazma. Rixi Anchen sat on a wooden chair and slowly tasted with a pot of sake. The fight between the two monkeys in heat not far away was naturally impossible to hide from Rixi Anchen. However, Rixi Anchen naturally won't meddle in his own business. Even if these two guys were killed, Rixi Anchen wouldn't even take a look. Besides, these two guys came to spy on his apprentice. Rixi Anchen wouldn't let his apprentice marry these two trash. The blackening is ten times stronger, and the Yuakai Huabito who is not black and now is just idiot waste material, not the Yuakai Hamadara who will play the ninja world in the palm of his hand in the future. However, after the blackening, this coercion can attack his teacher, the white-eyed wolf, and the two or five boys. Not to mention Sarutobiasma, a trash that can't even reach the shadow level. That's right. In Rixianchen's eyes, without shadow level strength, he is a waste. Although Rixianchen looked straight ahead, the Tensei I had a 360 degree line of sight without blind spots, and all their fights were seen by Rixianchen. The fight between the two was fierce. Yuakai Huabuto picked up the kanai that scratched him, while Sarutobiasma directly took out a huge Fuma shuriken. On weapons, Sarutobiasma still has the advantage, but Yuakai Huabuto is finally not barehanded. For those students who are still in ninja school, ninja tools are still very important. After all, no one can use ninjutsu. That's right, neither as Masarutobi nor Yuakai Huabuto can use powerful ninjutsu. Although as Masarutobi can come into contact with powerful ninjutsu, he is not a genius, and he can only use the three-body technique at most. And Yuakai Huabuto is even more tragic. He hasn't even learned the three-body technique, or it's the tail of the crane. Damn the tail of the crane. Sarubiasma roared. Although he was pressing Yuakai Huabuto to fight, Sarutobiasma was not happy at all, but felt very embarrassed in their entire class, except for the gentle and kind girl Nohara Rin. Almost everyone looked down on Yuakai Huabuto, the tail of the crane. Now that he has been fighting with this crane for so long, 
Can he be happy that he can't take down Newark Ahubato? Don't be too arrogant. Abato's anger increased to a higher level when he heard the words, the tail of the crane. These three words were the three words he didn't like to hear. The battle between the two is also incoherent. It is completely that you give me a knife, and then I pay you a knife, and the chickens peck each other. At the beginning, Newark Ahubato was able to resist Sarutobiasma, but over time, Yukai Huobito was a little unstoppable. Sarutobiasma not only has the advantage of weapons, but also injured Abito before, and now Yukai Huobito's wound is still bleeding. A bad Yukai Huobito will even bleed too much and die. Seeing Yukai Huobito getting weaker and weaker, Sarutobiasma showed joy in his heart, and this guy finally couldn't hold it anymore. Clang. After another collision, Yukai Huobito stepped back several steps, the kunai in his hand was broken open. The left arm kept shaking, and the right arm was constantly bleeding. Death to me. Seeing Yuikai Huobito retreating, the excited Sarutobiasma flew out the Fuyuma shuriken in his hand. The high-speed spinning shuriken headed straight towards Yuikai Huobito's head. If Yuikai Huobito can't escape this time, the sharp blade can definitely cut his neck. In the face of the rapidly flying shuriken, Yuikai Huobito panicked, and he could clearly feel that the crisis of death was deepening. Yuikai Huobito, who was in a panic, tripped over a small stone under his feet and fell to the ground. However, this wave of falling to the ground was just in time, just avoiding the flying shuriken allowing Yuikai Huobito to escape. Looking at the shuriken flying over his head, Yuikai Huobito wiped away a cold sweat, just now he thought he was going to die. Sarutobiasma's face turned green. He didn't expect Yuikai Huobito to be so lucky. Yuikai Huobito climbed up. His eyes turned blood red, it wasn't that he opened the wheel, but the bloodshot eyes that filled his eyes because of anger. Seeing that Sarutobiasma had no weapons in his hands, Yuikai Huobito seized the opportunity and came to Sarutobiasma as if a small universe had erupted. Then he punched the face of the face of Sarutobiasma's face, trying to give Sarutobiasma the whole face. Boom. With a loud bang, Yuikai Huobito's fist hit the stand. Humphrey, unlike you, the tail of the crane, I know ninjutsu. Sarutobiasma, who avoided Yuikai Huobito's punch, said arrogantly. In the distance, with Hyxianchen strength, Sarutobiasma's words could naturally be heard clearly. At this time, Rixianchen was full of black lines. Didn't he just use an E-level ninjutsu? Does it need to be so coercive? If you don't know the person, when you hear the tone of his voice, you'll think he's using an S-level profound meaning. Just as Sarutobiasma was arrogantly pretending to be aggressive, the resentful Yukai Huobito suddenly approached him, and then kicked towards Sarutobiasma's vital point. If this kick is successful, it is estimated that Sarutobiasma can become the smallest eunuch. And Sarutobiasma didn't expect Yuikai Huobito to take the opportunity to raid because he was too proud. Then the tragedy of Sarutobiasma, which gathered all the anger of Yuikai Huobito, slammed into his lifeline. This time, it was a chicken and egg beating, and Sarutobiasma's face was instantly blue and purple, he let out a miserable cry, and then fell to the ground. This blow made Sarutobiasma completely lose his combat effectiveness. And Yuikai Huobito, who was still unresolved, picked up a stone next to him and opened a scoop on Sarutobiasma's head. Sarutobiasma, who was about to faint from the pain, was knocked out by the blow on the head. It is estimated that the concussion may have been hit. TSK TSK, Asma can't be a man, Rixianchen said gloatingly. That kick Yuakai Huobito just now definitely gave his best, no, it even exploded its potential and exerted 200% of its power. So this kick is definitely a broken egg. Yuakai Huobito looked at Sarutobiasma who had passed out in a coma, the anger in his heart also subsided and he slowly regained his senses. Then he knew that he was in trouble and beat Naruto's son like this. This is the rhythm of the end. Even Hokage-sama, you have to be reasonable. It was Sarutobiasma who attacked me first. Yuakai Huobito comforted himself while bandaging the wound. Then he glanced at Noharuin in the distance, and then looked at Sarutobiasma, who was bleeding continuously from his head. Yuakai Huobito's expression was slightly hesitant. In the end, he chose to carry Sarutobiasma, who had fallen to the ground, and hurried to the ninja hospital. Although Obito is a bit stupid, he is not stupid. He knows that Sarutobiasma has an accident and he can't run away. Now he must send Sarutobiasma to the hospital to save his life. Otherwise, looking at Sarutobiasma's situation, if he didn't ask, he might end up in a mess. Chapter 235 Gloating Red Beans Teacher, I seem to have noticed that someone was spying on me before. Noharuin hesitated, then whispered. Rixianchen glanced at Noharuin in surprise. I didn't expect Lalilin to feel quite sensitive. Could it be the sixth sense unique to girls? That's right. Yuikai Huobito, the crane tail of your class, was peeking at this side just now. Hyxianchen nodded and said, What? Yuikai Huobito actually came here? Hong Yui frowned. She had seen Yuikai Huobito in the morning, presumably this guy came after her. After all, this place is very hidden, and most people can't find this at all. Place. But this guy is probably in trouble, Rixianchen said with a smile. What's the trouble? asked the curious baby Hongdu, who is full of curiosity about everything. Before. He abolished the son of the third generation. It is estimated that in the future, 
as Masaru Tobi will not be able to become a man. Speaking of this, Rixianchen couldn't help laughing. This Gazma is also unlucky. His lifeblood was abolished at a young age. Before it can be used, it will never be used. It's really pitiful. Although he seemed to be very sympathetic to Asma, there was an unstoppable smile on Rixi Anchen's face. Impossible. How could it be Asma's opponent? Mao 280 Xian couldn't believe that the famous grain tail of the whole school could actually destroy Asma, who was ranked in the forefront. This is simply a fantasy. If this is not what Hai Anchen said, they will never believe it, including Nohara Rin, who has a good relationship with Yuakai Huobito, nor does he believe that he can defeat Asma. It's impossible. It's not impossible for Shangren to die in the hands of Xieren, said Rick Xiangchen. Then Rick Xiangchen educated the girls, you should not despise everyone in the future, maybe the other party will open a plug in one day and fly into the sky. Oh, Kuren Ayui and the others nodded, but no one knew if they had heard their hearts. Then Abito will be fine, right? No Harin looked a little worried. After all, she had a pretty good relationship with Abito. In addition, No Harin was a gentle and kind little girl, so she naturally didn't want her friend to have an accident. It's better if something happens. The two of them plus the moonlight and wind will be as annoying as flies all day long. It's best to die, Hongda said gloatingly. She was dissatisfied with these three guys for a long time, and she was like flies around Yuka, Nohara Rin, and Yuzuki Yuan all day long. She hated it to death. Redbin is still thinking about teaching them a lesson one day. It depends on the Yuakaiha family. Rixianchen chuckled. If the Yuakaiha family helps the guy Yuakaiha Bito come forward, maybe Yuakaiha Bito will be fine. If the Yuakaiha family abandons Yuakaiha Bito, then Yuakai Huobito will definitely be secretly killed by three generations. After all, his son has been beaten as a eunuch. If he doesn't avenge his son, then it must be Asma Sarutobi who is not his own. Will the Yukaiha family help bring the soil? Yui Hong asked. It goes without saying. I will definitely not help the tail of the crane. After all, he is a disgrace to the Yuakaiha family. That guy is dead this time, Anko said excitedly. Rixianchen looked at the happy red beans, and felt a little speechless. Could it be that Yuakai Huobito and red beans have a grudge? Otherwise, why would Izuki want to see Yuakaiha's end? However, Haixi Anchen guessed wrong, and there was no grudge between Anko and Yuakaiha Abito, she was just unhappy with Yuakaiha Abito. Is that Abito really over? No Harin said with a disappointed expression. It's not that she likes Yuakaiha Abito, it's just that she cares about her as a good friend. No Harin looked at Rixi Anchen and opened her mouth. But in the end she didn't speak. She originally wanted to ask Rixi Anchen for help. She knew that the teacher should be able to help Abito, but in the end she gave up because she didn't want to make trouble for the teacher. Between Yuakai Huobito and Haixi Anchen, no Harilin still prefers the teacher Haixi Anchen. Although she wanted to help Abito, she didn't want Trixi Anchen to be in trouble because of Abito. Rixi Anchen also saw the appearance of no Harin. He knew what no Harin was going to say. But even if no Harin really asked, Rixi Anchen would not help Yuakai Huobito. He and Abito are not related, so why should he help him? Especially this kid didn't like him. Rixi Anchen had clearly noticed his malicious gaze before. Hurry up and eat lunch. I will continue to practice in the afternoon. Rixi Anchen said. Dot. Sarutobi his and frowned, looking at Sarutobi Asma lying on the hospital bed. Minister Inu, I don't know how Asma's injury is, is it serious? Sarutobi his and asked in a deep voice. It's impossible for Sarutobi his and to not care about his own son. After all, this is his biological son not the next door Lao Wang's. Minister Inu looked embarrassed. He didn't know what to say. Looking at Minister Inu's expression, his and Saru Tobi's heart tightened. Could it be that Asma was injured so badly that even the head of the medical department, Inu, couldn't cure it? After calming down, Saru Tobi hasn't said, just say it, Minister Inu. Okay. Minister Inu shook his head with a wry smile. Lord Hokage, although the injury on Asma's head looks serious, it can actually be recovered after just a few months of rest. That's good. Saru Tobi Hizen nodded with a hint of joy on his face. But, Saru Tobi Hizen's just relaxed mood was brought up again. At the same time, he was also very depressed. He was gasping for breath despite talking, which made his mood go up and down like a roller coaster. But, Ling Tsai has other injuries that will have a great impact on the future. What's the injury? Saru Tobi Hizen asked quickly. Ling Tsai's lower body has been severely injured and the future may not be humane. Minister Inu said rather euphemistically. Sarutobi hasn't seemed to have been hit in the head by a sledgehammer, and he couldn't react for a while. Has his son become a eunuch? Is there any way to treat it? Sarutobi Hizen was also hokage after all, so he quickly suppressed his mood swings and asked rationally. There is no way to treat it for now. Minister Inu shook his head. It's all meat sauce, and it's a fart to treat. Hearing that Sarutobi Hizen was silent, and there was boundless anger in his heart, but in order to pay attention to Hokage's image, this anger did not erupt. Where's Yuakai Huobito? Saru Tobi has and asked coldly. He? He was also injured and is now in Konoa Hospital. Minister Inu said, and he also mourned for Yuakai Huobito. Beating Hokage's son Asa is really powerful, and it is admirable for this courage. Why are they fighting? I don't know about this. Minister Inu shook his head. He was just a medical ninja, 
and he was not someone from the interrogation department. Naturally, he would not go to the bottom of it. I also ask Minister Inu not to spread this matter out. After all, it is related to Isma's reputation. Sarutobi hasn't pleaded. Don't worry, Hokage Sama, I have issued a password ban. Minister Inu said quickly, no one who can become a minister is a fool, of course he knows how to do it. If you like this audiobook, subscribe the channel for more videos like this. Leave some comment and let me know if you guys like this story, or you have a web novel you like and want to hear its audiobook. I will be happy to create them for you. Please like, share, and leave a comment on the video.